Well, hello there, folks, and I hope you're all keeping well. And me and Scruffy, there he is. We're down in West Cornwall for a few days, and we're going to walk the Tinner's Way, which is a footpath that goes inland from just outside St Ives, over all the hills and the tors and the moors, all the way down to Botalic, beside Cape Cornwall. And we're staying at a favourite little site here, down at Marva. It's a bit early in the season yet, so we got the whole place nearly to ourselves. Just us and a few more tents up there in the corner. <laughs> so get your bag packed and your crib ready and your boots on and come along with me and Scruffy to walk the Tinner's Way here in West Cornwall. Happy days! Any day of the week, this is proper camping. Simple and basic, back to nature. <laughs> Tap there, plenty of water. Recycled bin. <laughs> Someone's been having a few beers and ciders and good on them. They could have left me a couple though. <laughs> and there's the list. And there's the phone number. Have you ever down this way? Sure, what would you get for a fiver these days? And here's the facilities in the little cabin here, look. A couple of sinks. Toilets. Clean as a whistle. Everything you need for a proper happy camping trip. Hi folks, I first heard of the Tinner's Way, oh many years ago, when I bought this little book in a second hand shop. I think it was in Falmouth or Truro or somewhere like that. And this has got all the information that you would need, all the different sections you can do and pictures of all the stone circles and the hill forts and the dolmens and the quoits and the standing stones. And I've done all the sections on different days off over the years. But I've never done the whole thing in one stretch before. And I think it's about 16 miles from start to finish. And it's also known as the Old St Ives Boat Road. So it's a few years old. <laughs> and don't be saying a bit like yourself, Gypsy. So we're just going to stay here for the day, have a fire in a bit and have a chill. And then head on tomorrow. Start to do the tenor's way. I can see you, Scruffy. Now, there's no point in hiding, mate. We've got a 16 mile walk to do today. <laughs> and here we are, at the start of the walk, up a Trendrine Hill, just outside St Ives. And uh, some ground views of the coast up here. So, we're gonna head southwest down the Tinner's Way and what a day for it. Come on boy, come on. <laughs> you haven't even started yet. <laughs> Perfect peace. Let the morning breeze flow through you. And uh, some cracking formations here up in the mirrors above Zenner. And this is our first quite of the Tinner's Way. This is Sparrow's Quoit. And um, we're just going to stand here for a few minutes and enjoy the solitude and then head on down the way over towards Inner Quoit. It's proper handsome up here, isn't it? Hi 
Hi, Scruffy. Not much left of this whole building. <laughs> it would still be us though, wouldn't it, boy? We'll get a roof on there, no problem at all. <laughs> and I love finding these old buildings. Or these old shielings on our travels. And I often wonder if these old walls could talk, what stories they would tell. <laughs> right. Just gonna head on down the track here. Towards the inner point. Folks, the sun always shines on the righteous. And here we are at Zenner. Zenner quite. What a magical place this is. And uh, that Zenner tower over there. And the abandoned corn cottage. Looking down to the coast. Pending lighthouse and corn galver. And where we're heading next, just over the Merland here. And up the mall for a quite. We're flying along this morning, Scruffy. Oh. <laughs> Some size that stone, isn't it? Like? Place to stop and have a drama watcher. Cheers! <laughs> and a nice bit of warm Cornish morning sunshine on your chops. <laughs> the moon views and Scruffy's gonna rock. Here, boy. Scruff. up in this path nearly everywhere you turn you see a standing stone or dolmen and there's a little stone circle there look and if you go back onto the track here <laughs> and just go down a short way <laughs> you'll see another one isn't it? <laughs> and not a soul around except an El Gippo and his dog. <laughs> well Scruffy, I've arrived at Mulford quite first. <laughs> Look at that. The top stone's a bit like myself. It's gone a bit skew with over the years. <laughs> and that's uh up and down to Pinzans and Meisel and over into Mount Bay you can just see the lizard in the distance and St Michael's Mount it's a shame it's not a bit clearer for them views but still nice though we're just going to sit here have a little drink and a bit of dark chocolate more for a quite it's been a while since we've been up here in this scruff
Well, just walking down this little quiet track now from Mulfraquoit down to Bowdrifty. And sitting there, looking down at Penzance, it reminded me of my old mate Pat. He worked and lived in Penzance. In fact, he's probably still there. I haven't seen him for a while. And he used to work in the B&Q there in Penzance. And I remember him telling me one day, if you remember, a couple of three years ago, you had all this old malarkey where you had to queue up outside shops to get in, if you remember. And he told me one day he was working on reception there. And the phone rang. And he picked up the phone and the little voice said, Will you go outside and see how big the queue is, please? So Pat says, Sure I will. And he put the phone down in the bench there. And he walked outside. And he come back in and he picked up the phone and he said, It's the same size as the bee. <laughs> God bless you, Pat. Now, when I first started this little YouTube channel, oh, nearly 10 years ago now, 2014, I named it after this very place. And this is Bow Drifty. And my little channel was called Bow Drifty Adventures. <laughs> Way back, I was young then. Well, youngish. This is the ancient Iron Age settlement of Bow Drifty. Down here in West Penwith. Always worth a look. And it's gruff. Nice and quiet here. Anyway, we just got to head along the track and up onto the mirrors there. Towards Men and Tall. Hey, peace and freedom. That's all we're after, isn't it, Scruffy? <laughs> and we're just on the little track now that goes between Bow Drifty, Iron Age Settlement and Boss Kedden and Stone Circle. Clouded over a bit, but it's still nice and warm. And in the distance, I just heard a cuckoo. Always nice to hear the cuckoos, isn't it? Tell you what, my friends, if standing stones and dolmens and quite float your boat, then this is a walk for you. <laughs> We've just come up from the Bow Drifty Valley and arrived at Boss and Stone Circle. And don't forget, if you're going to walk around them, Widdershins, which means anti clockwise. <laughs> Boss Kedden, or the Nine Maidens Stone Circle. Nice and remote, always quiet up here. And that's where we've just come down from Mulfraquoit over in that hill there. And that's looking down the coast towards Zenner. And that's Corn Galver just sticking up there. And we're going to head on down towards Millington now. on the Tinner's Way. Bless him. <laughs> and we've just arrived on a good old friend of Melanthal. And I tell you, it's a wonder I can still fit through that after all these years. <laughs> a nice bit of sunshine still with us. And that's looking back up towards the Ding Dong Mine on the horizon there. 
just going to head down the bridle way and up and over Marva Corn to John Coit. The men in tall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, Scruffy, I think it's crib time. <laughs> and we've just come up from Menenthal, a couple of hundred yards along the road, and then turn left, and that brings you to more of a cairn. And the sunshine and blue skies have returned. <laughs> and if you look down there, just by the church, you'll see our little campsite, our home for a few days. And after crib, we're going to head down the track through the fields, and up to that next hill there, and up to John Castle and John Coit. Right, let's get the crib on the go here at Marvacairn. <laughs> Aye, right, Scruff, the best time of the day, crib time. Get the sandals off for five minutes. <laughs> Look at these lovely bluebells, and we're just sitting. On the side of more of a cairn having a crib. <laughs> Want some more? There you go. Here you are, son. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> well, we've worked up an appetite, haven't we? I don't want the other quoits to hear, but we've now arrived at Chun Quite, my favourite quite. And then she handsome. And that's where we've just come down from. More of a care. And Chun Castle. And some more fine views of the coast here. Looking down to good old Pending and Twellard in the sunshine. <laughs> and the wind's picked up a bit here, up on the top of the high mirror. And that's where we're heading next, down the bridle way and over the road. And let me get this right. Up to Cairn, Kenedjak, or as the locals call it, the Hooting Cairn. And then down to Tregazil Stone Circle. And eventually to the coast, down at Patalic. So we're about three quarters of the way through the track. And this is an handsome one. And scruff. We meet some characters on our journeys, don't we? As usual, Scruffy's here first. <laughs> Corn Kerridjack, I think it's pronounced. Or oh, the locals call it the Hooting Cairn. That was a nice walk over there from Chun Quite. Just had to cross the road, the main pending and New Bridge Road. But that was okay. And then back on the bridle way. And that's looking down to Sunny St. Just. Land's end in the distance. 
and down there, Tregazil Stone Circle. That's where we're heading next. We're just going to sit here for five minutes, as we have at all these cairns and quoits, and just taking these views and have a sip of water. The Hooting Cairn. <laughs> Scruffy having a good old explore. Trigger's Hill Stone Circle in the Cornish afternoon sunshine. Blessed solitude. And that's where I've just come down there from the Hooting Cairn. And then we're going to head up that track down to the coast at Batalic and down to the Crown's Engine Houses and the end of the Tenor's Way. down to the coast at Batalic on the far western Cornish coast and you can just see the old Grounds engine houses behind me there <laughs> 16 miles from Trendrine Hill just outside St Ives all the way down to Tinner's Way to Batalic and the sunshine is still with us <laughs> well done Scruffy you done well for now fella mind you that makes two of us <laughs> Well folks, we hope you enjoyed the Tinner's Way with me and Scruffy. Way down here in West Cornwall. We had some grand weather, didn't we? And we've seen some cracking sights along the way. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back soon with some more shenanigans for you. But until then, keep smiling and get yourself out there. From West Cornwall, so long. Until the next time, so long. <laughs>